Hello there, and welcome to Goods In. Today I'm looking at the Highview 5 megapixel CCTV camera. It's a Wi Fi CCTV camera. It's the uh, model HVWF500G2V5. But let's just take a look inside and see what you get in the box. This is your um, LAN connection if you do want to do it on a wired LAN or alternatively a uh, power connect. Oh, sorry, and um, also your power connection there. That looks like a nice sealed connection. In fact, yep, yeah, there are the there are the necessary parts I think to uh, to seal this connection. And we have a power supply in there too. Let's just take a look at the spec of the power supply. It's a 12 volt, one amp power supply. Fairly standard for CCTV stuff. Everything is very white, isn't it? On this video. Uh, anything else in the box, apart from the camera itself? And yeah, a LAN cable to hook it up. I think probably if you were going to hook it up, you would need a longer cable than that. But um, yeah, it's good to have one nonetheless. Let's take a look at the camera itself. Let's get that out of the box. Oh, there are a few other bits and bobs in the bottom there. Let me just show you those first. So we have the uh, two Wi-Fi antennas. And they actually give you a sticker because uh, in the UK, at least, it is, if, you're, if you've got CCTV up, you have to let people know. And uh, it's nice to actually get a sticker included <laughs> that, that, um, that tells, tells you you've got CCTV running. Uh, some screws there and the Allen key to fit it into the wall with some roll plugs. A CD? Wow! One of those small CDs, remember those? I've always found those quite, these quite cute. I really like these. Uh, so, I don't know what that's got on it, but I'm surprised there's a CD with it. Customer satisfaction, quick start guide. And that's it. That's all you get in the box. So let's take a look at the camera itself. It's IP67, I think, this one, which is good. So designed, definitely designed for outdoor use. And yeah, I mean, that looks pretty nice. You can, uh, this is, uh, this is built. This is a solid, solid metal body, but then uh, I suppose it's gonna have to be, isn't it? If it's uh, gonna stand a bit of weathering. And yeah, that cable goes in the back there. This, this cable here, the power and the LAN. Don't need to use the LAN, of course, and the Wi-Fi antennas fit to the back there if you're going to use this on Wi-Fi. But that's all there is to it. Yeah, fully fully weather weather sealed. Can you, can you can't see obviously see the night vision stuff there, but I'm pretty sure this one does have night vision. They are promoting the fact that this has color night vision. So you know night vision usually kind of disappears off into um, black and white and uh, it's just the way night vision is often done. This apparently has color night vision, so I don't know whether they just like whack the sensitivity of the camera up to achieve that uh, or how that works. But what I've got to do now is um, set this up. So I'm going to get this plugged in and come back to it and try and set it up because I think I'm going to have to, am I going to have to use my phone to do that? Don't know. Let's find out. That's what I'd like to do anyway, but this is going to prove a little bit difficult because if you see what it says here, for initial setup, please connect the camera to your router LAN port. So this cable that you get with it is really for that initial connection of the camera. And my uh, router is nowhere near here, so I'm not going to be able to do that um, right at this time. I can, however, get it hooked up and then show you the, uh, the, the kind of app side, I guess, on the phone. But even that, a little bit restricted because um, you have to scan the um, QR code on the bottom of the camera here, this QR code, and, uh, and then go from there, really. Okay, well, I've installed the Easy Vision, I think it's called, the Easy Vision app, and it said that I needed to uh, use the um, QR code. But it doesn't look like I do. It just so there we go. We've got the screen saying there's no device. So if I just tap plus there, it's going to do a LAN search. And because the camera is actually connected to the same LAN that this is now, the phone's currently connected on, I can just enter this here, stick the uh, password in, which by default is one, two, three, four, five. Obviously, I will change that. I could change the name of the camera as well, but I won't. And then just click check. Processing. 
camera successful. And we now have this camera connected and online. So if I tap this, you can see the camera's there. And, um, oh, okay, it's not the, not the best view. I don't know how I can, uh, whether I can um, change this and rotate it around and get a better view, maybe. Nope, doesn't look like I can. But uh, on the app anyway, this is a view from the top of the cupboard where I've just put the camera where all the router and stuff is uh, wired in. So connectivity-wise, really, really straightforward, nice and simple. And this app clearly caters for a lot of different cameras. You've got PTZ stuff here, which this camera doesn't have. But one thing they do claim about this camera is because it's five megapixels, so bigger, uh, more resolution than HD, there is the ability to zoom and still essentially have a an HD image. So because of the high resolution there, whether the sensor's resolving that much detail or not, well, we'll have to find out as I uh, as I start to use this and maybe you, I'll, I'll probably mount it outside somewhere, uh, just outside a window so I can power it fairly easily. But um, it seems pretty straightforward to set up. No problems at all. As I say, the camera's up there on top of the uh, wardrobe and is, uh, is plugged in, but as far as getting the Wi-Fi going on the camera, because currently it's connected over LAN, you can see here that it's automatically picked up an IP address, but of course I want to connect this on Wi-Fi, I don't want to wire up a LAN cable to have this connected. So let's try and do that. And the great thing about this camera is it's the first CCTV camera I've ever used that actually supports 5G networks. That is great news. Not fantastic because it does, 5G doesn't go through walls as well, so you can never get it outside quite as well as you can um, on uh, the 2.4 gig stuff. But the fact that it uses 5G is, is really good as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to enter that now and I'm going to put in my Wi-Fi passwords. And now I've entered my, my password, I'm going to try and connect and see what this does. Setting successful. Okay, so I'm going to try and un plug this camera, I suppose, and uh, see whether or not I can still access it. So now I should have, you know, I've, I've logged in, I've got the LAN stuff entered, and now I hopefully should be able to um, connect to it via Wi-Fi. So yeah, I've taken the um, camera back from the, from the room there, and we now have this connected over Wi-Fi, and that works great. Honestly, that's really straightforward to set up. So if I hold it up here, you can see the camera and stuff that I'm filming this on. As for quality and things, well, I'm not going to test that at the moment, but as far as setup goes, yeah, this is what I was saying before. I'm guessing that's where the, um, the storage will go. So a kind of sealed, weather sealed port for your um, micro SD card. But um, really, really straightforward to set up. Nice, seems so far to be a reliable app. Can't say that for sure at the moment. First impressions is really good. Uh, solidly made and um, great. Yeah, nice. Yeah.